there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of the series of videos I'm posting to try to help people out when it comes to aptitude tests like the civil service exam, let or cat and other tests like that. Today we're going to talk about uh, a technique that I use when I take the test and I hope that it's helpful to you too. This is still on math, so if you have a copy of workbook number one, you can follow along. Ang sasagutan natin is page 4. In page 4 natin is the ruler technique. So I'm going to teach you how to do that. It's a little complicated, but if you get the hang of it, it's going to save you a lot of time for getting the actual exam. So in order for me to do that and explain it better, I'm going to switch over to my PC so I can sort show you how. Um, a ruler technique is something that I teach and I have you, you guys use when it comes to yung questions na. Uh, I arrange, arrange these from... Uh, from least to greatest, okay? And in the exam, may mga lumalabas na ganyan. Minsan, tatanong kung least to greatest or maligtad, greatest to least. Minsan, itatanong kung which is the biggest number or which is the smallest number or uh, second to the last or second to the greatest, yung mga ganon na tanong. So, basically, uh, you will be given a list of numbers, uh, na whether decimal form yan or fraction form. Tapos itatanong sa inyo kung paano nyo siya i-arrange, kung ano yung pinakamaliit, ano yung pinakamalaki. And in order for you to do that, there are a number of things that you can do. Pero ang turo kasi na teacher sa atin before is, you have to decide whether you're going to turn it into a decimal or you're going to turn it into a fraction. Ngayon, kung gagawin mo siyang decimal lahat, you can do that. Uh, I-divide nyo lang yung number sa taas by the number na nasa baba. So, magiging 5 divided by 6. But not a lot of people are comfortable with that kasi mahirap mag-divide uh, ng fractions kasi mag uh, ka ng 0 and it's a little complicated. So, the other option would be to turn them all into fractions. So, if gagawin ko siya fraction, magiging 5 over 6. Uh, dahil 0.5, so isang beses ko lang igagalaw yung decimal para maging 5 siya. So, ibig sabihin, isang 0 lang ilalagay ko sa ilalim. So, 5 over 10 ang 0.5. Ang 0.75 would be 75 at dahil dalawang beses ko yung move yun para maging 75 siya, ibig sabihin dalawang 0 sa ilalim. So, 75 over 100. And then, you have 2 over 3. And then, pag fraction na sila, hindi mo pa sila ma-arrange kasi hindi pa sila pare-pareho ng uh, denominator. So, para pagpariparuhin mo yung, nasa, yung number di sa ilalim, or what they call the denominator, gagawin natin yung LCD, or least common denominator. Okay? But the thing is, uh, medyo complicated yun, kasi iisipin ninyo kung ano yung multiple ng 6, 10, 103, na pinakamababa, na pare-pareho sila. So, some people may know that right off the bat, pero if you're not one of those people, that's okay. Kasi, uh, there is a, another way that you can solve this. And that is the ruler technique. And ruler technique goes like this, okay? Sa paper na inyo, you write a uh, ruler. Ito yung ruler natin. So, kung ito ang 0, ito ay 1 half or 0. 0.5. Okay? And then, we have this. Ito yung 1. This would be uh, 3 fourths or, f or 0. 0.75. This naman would be one fourth or point twenty five. So it really doesn't have to be perfect. Pero ang kailangan yun lang maitidya na concept dito na gusto kong ipahibatik sa inyo is when you encounter problems like this. The first question that you ask is this: Bawat isang number ba yan? Okay? Is it mataas or mababa sa one half? Mataas or mababa sa point seventy five? Mataas or mababa sa point twenty five? Kasi kung alam yung kuna sa an na siya dito sa number line so dali na siya iso. Let me demonstrate. Start tayo sa 5 over 6. Sorry. Okay. So, 5 over 6. Ang 5 over 6, ang unang tanong, mataas ba siya or mababa sa 1 half? Okay? In order, order for you to know kung ano yung equivalent niya sa 1 half, ang gagawin niyo lang is yung numbers sa ilalim, yung denominator, i-divide mo siya sa 2. Okay? So, 6 divided by 2 is actually 3. Right? So, ibig sabihin, kung 3 yung sagot dito, 3 over 6 ang 1 half. Okay? 
Ang 3 over 6 ang 1 half, ang 5 over 6 ay mas mataas naman kaysa sa 3 over 6. Ibig sabihin, mas mataas siya sa 1 half. So definitely, kung ilalagay ko siya dito sa line, mataas siya sa 1 half. Mataas siya dito sa 0.5. It would be anything between this hanggang doon. The next question would be, mataas ba siya or mababa sa 3 fourth? Okay? Ngayon, in order for you to determine kung mataas or mababa siya sa 3 fourth, ang kukunin natin yung over 4. 4. Ano yung equivalent ng 1 fourth? Okay? So, ang 1 fourth, okay? Ang 1 fourth ay kalahati ng kalahati. Tama? Kasi dalawang 1 fourth would be equal to 1 half. So, ibig sabihin, kung 3 ang 1 half, equivalent ng 1 half, ang kukunin na lang natin instead of going back to, pwede mo rin kasi gawing 6 divided by 4. Okay? But, instead of doing that, para mas madali, Alam na natin yung kalahati, which is 3. Kakalahati na lang natin uli yung 3. So, 3 divided by 2 would be 1.5. Ibig sabihin, 1.5 over 6 ang 1 fourth. At dahil nahanap natin yung 3 fourth, okay? At ang 3 fourth, if you think about it, is 1 half plus 1 fourth. Ibig sabihin, pwede natin pagsamayin yung 3 at 1.5, magiging 4.5 over 6. Ito yung 3 fourth. Okay? Ngayon, kung 4 over 4.5 over 6 lang ang 3 fourth, eh ang given natin is 5 over 6. Ibig sabihin, mataas pa siya sa 3 fourth. And in order for me to uh, better represent it, let me just change it in color, no? So, ibig sabihin, ang 4.5 over 6 should be somewhere here. Nasa taas siya ng, mas mataas pa siya sa 0.75. So, dito ang A. Okay? Ngayon, um, ang anong paano siya nakakatulong? Kasi instead of you comparing all of the numbers sa isa't isa, you're just going to compare it to the ruler. At dahil alam mo na yung A, lipat na tayo sa kasunod. Okay? Let me just change back yung aking ink color. Ayan. So, balik tayo, buta naman tayo sa 0.5. Okay? Yung 0.5, kung ilalagay ko naman siya dito sa line, okay, would be, nandito naman siya, papuputa siya sa gitna ng gitna. Okay? So, ang 0.5 is actually B. Right? So, off the bat, alam mo na agad na ang A, ang 5 over 6 ay mas mataas sa 0.5. Ang 0.75 naman is right here. So, yan yung C. And yung 2 thirds, ito na lang yung kailangan natin isolve. Ngayon, yung 2 thirds, again, ang unang tanong, laging tanong sa ruler technique, uh, mababa ba siya o mataas sa kalahate? Okay. So, mataas ba siya sa kalahati? So, again, ang gagawin natin, yung number sa ilalim, yung denominator, i-divide natin siya sa 2. That would be 1.5. That, dahil ang 2 ay mas mataas sa 1.5, ibig sabihin, mas mataas siya sa 0.5. Mataas siya sa kalahati. Right? Next na question, again, parang ginawa natin kanina, mas mataas pa ba siya sa 3 fourth? So, magdadagdag tayo ng isa pang 1 fourth. Again, ang 1 fourth ay kalahati ng kalahati. At dahil ito ang kalahati, hahatiin natin siya. 1.5 divided by 2 would be 7 point... Uh, ano, would be 5 point... Sorry. 7 point... Uh, 5, right? Um, uh, 0.75, I'm sorry. 0 0.75. So, ang 0.75, yun ang 1 fourth. So, in order for you to know kung ano yung 3 fourth, pagpawasamahin mo lang siya, 1.5 plus 0.75 is 2.25. So, if you look at 2 thirds again, pag, this time naman, pag tinan mo, 2 naman is less than 2.25. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya umabot sa 3 fourth. So, kung titignan natin sa number line, kung ilalagay natin siya, okay, it has to be higher than 1 half, pero lower than 3 fourth. So, dito siya mapupunta. Higher than 1 half, lower than 3 fourth. Dito yung D. So, ang arrangement, if i-arrange natin siya from least to greatest, the answer would be, magsisimula ka sa ilalim, you will start with B, tapos D, C, tapos A. Kung greatest to least naman, it would be A, C, D, B. So, that's the way that you can solve the ruler technique. So, it doesn't look simple, pero through practice, matututo pa kayong bumilis dyan. And again, if gagawin nyo kasi yung, low, yung least common denominator, baka mas matagal pa yan dito. Okay? okay? Again, ang concept lang would be, ano ang kalahate, ano ang 1 one, one fourth, ano ang 3 fourth. Nasaan siya doon? 
Okay? So, this next slide, I want you to try it out for yourself. So, uh, just hit pause when I say it. Tapos, balik, i-play nyo uli siya para makasubukan ninyo kung nakuha nyo siya right. Okay? So, paki please uh, hit pause muna and try to answer this. Pause nyo muna. Okay. So, check natin if you got it right. Again, uh, we will just uh, look at it one fraction at a time. So, kung ito ang ruler natin, laki natin ng onte. Okay? If this is zero, feel free to solve this with me. You can say it aloud para kahit wala ako dyan, so you would be um, a better learner. Kasi when you say it out loud, mas madali nyo matatandaan. So, if that is one, this is one half. This would be one fourth. Again, hindi na siya saktong-sakto, pero ano, it serves the purpose naman. And then, this would be three-fourths. Hindi ko na nilagay yung decimal kasi alam nyo na yan. This would be 0 0.25, 0 0.5, and then 0 0.75. So, isa-isay natin siya. Magsisimula tayo sa 2 over 32. So, what I like do, what I like to do is i smallest terms ko muna siya. So, if you don't know how to solve smallest terms, uh, there's going to be a card sa taas uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, so you can watch the video on that. I taught that in another video, a free video. Um, so, you can see that. So, ang unang tanong, even ba siya? So, even yung taas, even yung baba. Ibig sabihin, pwede mo siyang i-divide both sides by uh, 2. Okay. 2 over 2. So, magiging 1 over 16 na lang. So, so dali siya i-manipulate. Ngayon, di ba sabi natin, ang unang tanong is mababa o mataas pa siya sa kalahate. Ngayon, pag tinignan natin 1 over 16, hindi ba sobrang ang layo naman ng 1 sa 16? And ang kalahati ng 16 is 8. So, ang kalahati ng kalahati or 1 fourth is 4. E, 1 lang siya eh. So, definitely, kung ilalagay ko siya dito sa line, okay, it should be lower pa than 1 fourth. So, nandito yung A. Okay? So, 1 down na tayo. Di pa tayo sa kasunod. Okay? So, uh, 99 over 110. So, kung 99 over 110, again, you can ask yourself, uh, pwede pa ba ito i-lowest terms? Ngayon, kung mapapansin ninyo, pareho kasi siyang divisible sa 11. So, ang 99, pwede mong i-divide sa 11 over 11. Uh, 99 divided by 11 would be 9. Uh, 110 divided by 11 would be 10. Okay? So, again, uh, working dun sa concept natin, Ano ang kalahati? Mataas ba siya o mababa sa kalahati? Ngayon, ang kalahati ng 10 ay 5, right? So, ibig sabihin 5 over 10 ang kalahati. Mas mataas pa rin siya sa kalahati. So, ang next na question, mataas ba siya sa 3 fourth? And in order for you to know that, kailangan mo malaman kung ano ang 1 fourth or kalahati ng kalahati. Dahil ang kalahati mo ay 5, ang kalahati ng kalahati ay 2.5 over 10. Yan ang 1 fourth. Okay? So, ang 3 fourth would be, pag sasamahin mo yung 5 at saka 2.5, that would be 7.5 over 10. Definitely, mas mataas naman yung 9 kaysa sa 7.5, 7 right? So, ibig sabihin, yung letter B is higher than 0.75. Okay? So, lalagay natin siya dito. Dito yung B. Again, if sanay na kayo, like uh, me for example if, well, if I see 9 over 10 ay ang lapit naman masyado nung 9 sa 10 isa na lang ang kulang right so usually pag ganun uh, mas, mas malamang na siya nandito sa taas na ng 3 fourth okay? so yung 0.73 uh, dahil uh, alam natin na this is 0.75 yung 3 fourth right and 0.73 is just a little bit lower than 0.75 pwede ko na siyang ilagay dyan Yung 23 over 50, okay, we can also solve for that. I'll, I'll show you, but uh, and then I'm going to explain yung mental na lang. So, 23 over uh, 50, again, uh, pa, hindi naman siya even pareho. Wala naman akong magawa na i-divide sa kanya. So, ang tanong, abot ba siya sa kalahati? Ang kalahati ng 50 ay 25. So, ibig sabihin, yung 23 mas mababa siya sa 25. Hindi siya umabot sa kalahati. Pero malapit na malapit na siya, di ba? Kasi 23 sa 25. So, ang kung huhulaan ko yan, or i-try ko siya i-figure out, I would say na that would be uh, higher than 1 fourth, definitely, but lower than 1 half. So, dito ko siya ilalagay. So, when you arrange this from least to greatest, the answer would be A, D, C, B. Greatest to least, it would be B, C, D, A. 
Pagtila nung kung ano yung highest, it would be B. Lowest, A. Alam nyo na yung concept. So, ang importante again is the ruler. Pag nagawa nyo na yung ruler, alam nyo na lahat. Okay? So, uh, we're going to... Um, I'm going to give you time to try out again yung number 6 ninyo sa inyong pretest, And uh, then we can uh, discuss this. Alright? So, hit pause muna so you can try it again. Alright? So, uh, try natin if you got it right this time. Okay? And then, I'm, I'm going, kasi I'm going to teach you yung even faster way for you to do it. Let me just draw the ruler um, here. So, you can visualize it. Alam nyo, pag na-master nyo tong technique na to, kahit hindi nyo na-drawing yung figures, alam nyo na agad. Okay? And this is how I usually just do it. I don't even need to draw it. Sometimes, I just need to think. Okay? So, I'm going to teach you kung ano yung method na mas mabilis pa, which is this. Ang sabi, arrange these from least to greatest. So, ang hinahanap mo lang is the least, ano yung pinakamaliit, ano yung pinakamalaki. So, operating dun sa concept natin na hinahanap natin kung ano yung kalahati, ano yung one-fourth, ganito ang gagawin ninyo. Hanapin ko muna yung least. Kasi may options naman tayo, right? May options tayo ng sequence. So, ibig sabihin, kung makukuha ko yung least, alam ko kung ano yung mauuna, it's just either A or D, right? May limited ko yung ibang options. So, tingnan natin. Ang A ba mababa sa one-half? So, ang 0.15 definitely mas mababa sa 0.5. So, option siya sa pwede siyang least. Okay? Ang 33 over 50, mataas siya sa kalahati. Dahil ang kalahati ng 50 ay 25. So, kung mataas siya, hindi, ko na, siya kasama, hindi na siya kasama sa options na possible na maging least. Kasi definitely mas mababa, siya, mas mababa yung 0.15 kasi sa kanya. So, this one, this is 2 times 21 over 50. So, that is 42 over 50. So, mas mataas pa siya sa 25, yung, mas mataas pa siya sa 33, so definitely hindi na siya pwede. Ang question na lang would be, yung letter D, mas mababa ba siya o mataas sa kalahati? And if you look at it, ba sabi nga natin, ang kalahati ng 3 is 1.5, so mas mababa siya sa kalahati. Okay? However, okay, um, uh, it is still higher than 1 fourth, kasi, Ang 1 fourth is, again, kalahati ng kalahati. So, kalahati ng 1.5 is 0.75. Okay? E, 1 siya eh. So, mas mataas siya sa uh, 1 fourth. E, etong 0 0.15, mas mababa siya definitely sa 0 0.25. So, ibig sabihin nun, sa A o D, ang pinakamababa ay A. So, babalik tayo dito sa options natin. Hindi na pwedeng maging sagot yung B. Hindi na pwedeng mas maging sagot yung D. Kasi, ang alam natin... Sa A, dapat nagsisimula. Kasi least to greatest. Right? So, ang next na question na would be this. Kung nagmamadali kayo, pwede nyo nang hulaan na lang kung alin doon sa dalawa yung sagot. Or better yet, tingnan ninyo yung nasa dulo. Okay? Kasi, or yung kasunod. Kasi, di ba, na, nakita na natin dito sa uh, kanina nangyari na ang 0.15 is uh, lower than point uh, than 1 over 3, pero definitely mas mababa na to sa kalahate. So, ibig sabihin, ang kasunod has to be letter D. At dahil isa lang siya, the answer would be letter C na right away. Pwede yun ang shadan. The other option would be, hanapin nyo na ngayon yung greatest. Kasi magkaiba naman siya eh. B at saka C. So, ang tanong na, na lang would be, anong mas mataas? B o C? So, this is 33 over 50. Ito ay 42 over 50. So, mas mataas da dapat yung letter C. So, the answer would still be letter C sa options. So, again, ang kailangan nyo i-master dito is yung process ng elimination ng uh, mga impossible na sagot. And then, pipiliin nyo lang kung ano yung best answer. Okay? Alright! So, I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. If you have friends who are taking the exam as well, you can share this to them. This is totally for free. There are exercises down below. You can see those in uh, the description box sa uh, YouTube video. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel para malaman nyo as soon as new video posts. If you have requests, comments, suggestions, or if you want to know how you can get, and get your own copy of the workbook number one, you can reach out to me sa www.facebook.com slash team Laika or comment down below para makilala ko kayo. Always, um, I'm here for you guys and I'm cheering you on. I believe that you can reach your dreams. Just keep practicing, keep learning, keep praying, keep believing. Kaya nyo yan. Aja, aja. God bless and see you on my next video.